everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to get into the new holiday collection from Natasha Denona. She launched this new mini Zendo palette, which if you guys have not seen my review on this, I actually was able to get this a little bit early before it actually launched. So if you guys have not seen my review and three tutorials, using this palette. I will link it up here in the iCards and also in the description box down below. But in this video, we are going to get into the new highlighter that she launched and also the two new lipsticks that she launched along with the mini Zendo palette. So let's jump into the details about this new highlighter. So I have to first say this highlighter is beautiful. The overall packaging, the inside of it, it's just really, really stunning. I have to give her props for creating such a gorgeous, gorgeous looking highlighter. It's just very appealing to look at and I, I, I'm I, like blown away. I loved all the promo pics of this, but it's even prettier in person, which is, it's just so eye pleasing. I just love looking at it. So I recently bought this on the Sephora website. It retails for $42. It is a metallic highlighter powder with the Glow Impact Powder Formula debuted in the Tan Bronze and Glow Palette, now in a champagne tone. So what that means is if you guys have the Tan Bronze and Glow Palette, she's talking about this formula over here. And this one is definitely more of a golden color. So I'm gonna swatch them for you right here side by side. So this is the new one and this is the original in the Tan Bronze and Glow. They're very similar. This one definitely does have a little bit more of a champagne tone to it but they're very, very similar. So. Now, this highlighter is made in Italy and you get 0.2 ounces, which is eight grams worth of product for the $42. And as you guys know, I like to do price comparisons. So instead of talking you through each product, just to save time, I'm just gonna pop the image up here on the screen so you guys can see this price point and how much you pay per gram in this new limited edition highlighter palette from Natasha Denona compared to some of the other highlighters that are out in the market. And like I said, this is a limited edition highlighter, so you know, keep that in mind throughout the entire review. I will be getting into the formula, how it applies. I will also be comparing it to a wide variety of highlighters that we already have, just so that you guys can really see if this is something that you need. Even though it's very beautiful to look at, you really got to know if it's something that you really need in your collection. So we're going to get into that later on. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into the two lipsticks that I picked up. So she has a line called I Need a Nude, which I have two of them right here. I have Michelle and Lyran. I've enjoyed the formula. I think the formula is a nice um, kind of satin. You don't get a lot of shine from it, but you get a little bit. So it's almost like a satin type of lipstick where it kind of sets down, it doesn't slide and move around. So this formula is described as a lightweight, creamy, comfortable to wear formula. This luxurious lipstick delivers that nude look we've all been dreaming of while also hydrating and nourishing the lips. So that's what she describes them as. Now, I picked up both of the new shades. They retail for $25. They're the same price as the others that she has in the I Need a Nude collection. This one is Maria. This one is described as a neutral with a pink undertone. Andrea, right down here, is described as a neutral with a beige undertone. Now, I apply both of them on my lips so you guys can see what it looks like against my skin tone. And for reference for the highlighter and the lipsticks, I will leave a list in the description box down below of some of the foundations that I wear and what shade I wear in the popular foundations that we have out on the market, just so that you guys can know what my skin tone is based on those foundation shades. So before we jump into the applications of these, I have promised you guys that I would try on the new Tom Ford First Balm lipstick on camera. Now I've noticed that it's currently sold out on the Sephora website. We'll see when it comes back, but this thing is stunning. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now it's very sheer. This is what it looks like. So it's definitely a topper. So I wanted to go ahead and apply it over what I have right now and show you guys what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's really pretty. Do I think it's worth $56? Probably not just because of COVID. There may be one day in our lives that we won't have to wear masks and it is a limited edition. Keep all of that in mind. It is very beautiful. And I'm wondering if it's gonna come back into stock before the Sephora sale happens. I'm curious to find out. So I'm gonna apply it. Okay. 
Okay, so that's kind of what it did to the lipstick that I was wearing. And it gives just a little teeny bit of a sparkle. The thing that I will say that I really like about this formula is that it has those little finely like micro glitters in it, but it's so finely crushed that you really can't feel it. You can feel it, so it's not gonna be as smooth as like a traditional lipstick. You can feel them, but it's so, so smooth, like very smooth on the lips. So I personally love it. I'm gonna be honest, I do. And I can see myself reaching for this to put over some of my favorite lipsticks just to give it that extra umph to the lips. So that's my thoughts on the new Tom Ford First Bomb. I'm not gonna even begin to tell you guys to run out and grab it when it comes back into stock or if you can find it in stock at other stores for, rather than um, Sephora just because it's $56 for a lipstick. Me, I don't think it looks that pretty alone. Let me show you what it looks like alone. Let me put it on alone so you guys can see it. Don't get me wrong. I think this is pretty. I mean, you can see that it just kind of gave my lips a little bit of a shine. So I do like it alone, but I prefer it over a lipstick. I think that's my favorite way to wear it, but it does look really pretty on its own. So that's as far as I'm going to go, you guys. You guys have to make your mind whether you're going to spend $56 on a limited edition Tom Ford lipstick. I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I am not going to even go down that rabbit hole. So let's go ahead and jump into the applications of the highlighter and the two lipsticks. Then we will get into my swatches and comparisons. And then, of course, I will get into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Okay, so let's jump into this new highlighter from Natasha Denona. I'm filming another video, so I'm kind of doing a two for one here. I just got done doing an eyeshadow look with a palette that I'm kind of reviewing and playing with. I have not powdered, nor do I have any contour or blush or bronzer or anything on my skin. I wanted to show you guys what this looks like on my skin without anything but foundation. I love the nude packaging on this and even though it feels like plastic, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna take my highlighter brush from Sigma. This is the Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. And as you can see, it does have like a little taper to it. So I'm gonna run my brush through it like this, tap off, and let's apply it on this cheek. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Holy shimoxies, that's pretty. That is a very, very beautiful highlighter. Very pretty. On my skin tone, beautiful. Look at that. Whew, she is pretty. And this brush applied it beautifully. I don't feel like I could have gotten a better application. I think it looks really pretty. So I'm gonna grab my fan brush from Sonia G. This is the Sculpt 3 brush. And let's just go in with a softer brush. This is a more dense brush. So I wanna see how this will apply with a softer brush. Okay, so I'm gonna take that and place it on this forehead right here with the fan brush. Now I'm gonna grab the Sigma brush It's a very natural, natural highlighter. Beautiful. I'm gonna go on my Cupid's bow with my finger. Now I'm finished the rest of my makeup. Let's go ahead and try on these new lipsticks. This is gorgeous. It's hard to kind of see it just because, um, you know, it's so kind of shiny, but it's really beautiful and it's, you know, uh, very well made. So I love the bullet on this. I think it's just really pretty. And there is the one color, which, 
it does have the ND embossing on it. That one is in the shade Maria. And then the other one that we have, oh, I love this. Okay, I love this. This one is a little darker because I will say the one thing that I have kind of wished that I could know a difference between these two shades that I have in the original packaging. Well, so here are the lids for the lipsticks. And I don't know if you're gonna notice because everything is reflecting off of the camera. This one is a little lighter. So I, I don't know, all the lights are reflecting, but this one is a little lighter than this one. So this one's a little darker. So if you look at the actual bullets, they're different and the casings are different. Thank you for making them have some sort of difference that you know what color and which lipstick you're picking up. I love that. This one is in the shade Andrea. So we have Maria and we have Andrea. So let's try on the lighter shade first. Okay, so obviously for my skin tone, I have to wear a lip liner with this. It's never my favorite thing to uh, wear like this light of a nude lipstick. However, this is the perfect shade for those of you that do a lot of lip contouring where you put a, you know, a, you line your lips and then you put like a darker shade on the lips and then you dab a little of a lighter shade right here in the center to really make the lips appear to be bigger. Again, I would need to wear this with a lip liner, but this is really, really pretty. It is a very, very beautiful shade. Now let's put on Andrea. So this one's really pretty because it has more of like a neutral beige undertone. The Maria is more of a neutral pink undertone. So depending on what undertone you like, I personally prefer the beige against my skin tone. This shade I would definitely wear with a lip liner, but this looks really, really beautiful. And I really like this shade. I think this shade is uh, kind of perfect for my undertone, my skin undertone. So I went ahead and threw on my KKW Beauty Nude Number no. 2 Lip Liner. So then I grabbed the shade Andrea and kind of put it on. You saw me kind of blend it in. And then I took a tiny, tiny bit of Maria and kind of placed it right there in the center. Perfect. This is beautiful. It is just perfect. It's got a decent amount of shine to it uh, without it being too shiny so that it'll kind of slip and slide and wear off too easily during the day. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful formula and very easy to kind of blend into your lip. I will recommend, it's been my experience with these two that I have, which by the way, I have it in the shade Lyran and Michelle. Uh, it's been my experience with this formula that it's better to blend it with a brush, especially where it connects to the inside of your lip because this is a thicker, a little bit thicker of a textured lipstick and I feel like I don't have it gather so much when I use a brush to kind of blend it out. If I don't use a brush to blend it out, it will kind of get thick right there around like, you know, where your lip goes down into the mouth. So 
keep that in mind. But overall, these shades are really, really pretty and I am very happy to have them in my collection. So now that we've made it through all of that, let's go ahead and jump into the swatches and comparisons. I'm going to compare this highlighter to multiple highlighters that I have in my collection. It's gonna be a lot of swatches. And then I will show you some comparisons of these two lipsticks next to a lot of the nude lipsticks that I have in my collection. Then we will go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Okay, so now that we've made it through the applications and the swatches and comparisons, which I hope that those swatches were helpful for you guys, I really tried to swatch as many highlighters and as many lipsticks as I had in my collection. And let me get into my final thoughts about this highlighter. So let me first say that this highlighter is not really different than what I already have in my collection. I have a lot of this type of tone, and even if it's not exactly the same tone, it's very similar, and some in the very similar type of finish. So with that said, do I regret buying it? No, because I think it's beautiful. I personally can see myself reaching for this all the time. Not only because the shade is really beautiful on my skin tone, I like the overall look of it. I think it's a very beautiful highlighter. So I kind of feel like if you're like me and you have a lot of highlighters in your collection, you just have to decide, do I want to spend $42 on a highlighter that I probably have over and over and over in my collection or not. That's what it's going to boil down to because truthfully, I think the formula is beautiful. I don't think it exaggerates texture in a harsh, you know, way or anything like that. The formula is beautiful. The shade is beautiful. I do think it's going to work for a wide variety of people. I will say that. I think those who are really, really fair, maybe not. And those who are really deep, maybe not because it might have a little bit of a silver, uh, tone to them. I think it's a beautiful universal shade that a wide variety of skin tones can wear. Do I feel like it's going to work for everybody? Obviously not, but I do think it will work for a wide variety. This is kind of the perfect size. It's not too big. It's not too small and the formula is beautiful and I actually prefer the packaging on this over the Huda Beauty. So truthfully, you guys, I think it truly boils down to, I don't think I've ever said this in a review, it's going to boil down to if you want that beautiful looking highlighter in your collection because you probably have this in a lot of your highlighters, especially if you're like me and these are the tones that you buy for your skin tone. This is probably something that you're going to have or even if you don't have it, for example, I swatched it next to the Bar of Gold from Charlotte Tilbury. All I would have to do is mix those three shades together and I would probably get something very similar to this. So this is not a new shade that we don't have. This is not a, you know, new formula that we don't have. This is just a beautiful packaged, aesthetically looking highlighter that sits beautifully on your makeup counter. I think that's what it boils down to. 
And if it's something that you guys are thinking about getting and you haven't picked it up yet, I would really, really think about it and wait until the Sephora sale launches. We all know they're going to be having a 20% off sale. I'll put the details right up here on the screen so you have the dates. Uh, so that gives you time to kind of think about it. Don't impulsively buy it. Really think about it. Think about, is this really something I want to spend $42 on? If you do get the 20% off and you get it for $33, then I think it's a great deal. Uh, so I do think that these type of products will be some of the first to kind of sell out during the sale. So also keep that in mind. But I think it's beautiful. I do. And I think a lot of you are going to really love it. Uh, but it just has to boil down to the packaging. It really does. For me personally, it boils down to the packaging. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And I like it on my makeup counter. Let's jump into the lipsticks. Like I said during the tutorial, these do look very, very beautiful on the lips. They're not like the longest lasting matte lipstick I have in my collection, but they do last a decent while. I've had this on for about three hours now, and you can see that my, my lip liner is starting to kind of be like the 80s look where the lip liner is like significantly darker. So the lipstick is fading, but I still think that the formula is a great formula. And, you know, I've always liked her nudes. And so I hope that those swatches were helpful for you guys in case that you have some of the ones that I swatched in your collection and you may not need these tones. So that's it for the review. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.